Here we'll talk about Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karyakram. So Rashtriya means India. Bal Swasthya is the health of the child. Karyakram is a program. So it's an initiative launched in February 2013. It's a provision for child health screening and early intervention services. So what are we doing under this RBSK? We are screening children of India so that if we find any disease, we can treat them early. So early detection and management of four Ds prevalent in the children. What are the four Ds? This can be birth defects, deficiencies, childhood disorders, and developmental delays. So we'll identify these four Ds and we can treat them as early as possible. This helps in control of the disease. So coming to the defects. it can be neural tube defect down syndrome congenital heart disease congenital deafness congenital cataract cleft lip cleft palate club foot so write about all the birth defects so it can be either neural tube defect down syndrome or it is present from the birth congenital heart diseases congenital deafness congenital cataract cleft palate cleft lip and the club foot coming to the deficiencies it can be iron deficiency iodine deficiency vitamin deficiencies protein energy malnutrition so severe anemia vitamin a deficiency vitamin d deficiency goiter severe acute malnutrition coming to the childhood disorders it can be otitis media and rheumatic heart disease so this rheumatic heart disease is important because it can be arising from rheumatic fever right rheumatic fever can occur as this common sore throat which is caused by streptococcal infection so this can turn into rheumatic heart disease if it is not treated properly childhood diseases can include rheumatic heart disease it is more prevalent in the age group of 5 to 15 years so dental caries and skin infections like scabies fungal and eczema reactive airway disorders this is also important convulsive disorders so the main things you have to remember in childhood diseases is or rheumatic heart disease reactive airway disease convulsion disease and other diseases like otitis media dental caries now coming to the developmental delays or disabilities there can be either vision impairment hearing impairment motor delay cognitive delay language delay autism adhd learning disorders sickle cell anemia beta thalassemia so these are different developmental delays obviously there will be impairment of vision and hearing you can remember it and delays like motor cognitive learning language and also autism adhd so these are the four d's and now coming to the next point 27 crore children of age group 0 to 18 years are expected to be covered under rbsk program in phased manner so on overall 27 crores of children are getting screened every year from the age group 0 to 18 years under this rbsk program here we will screen for 30 diseases for early detection free treatment and management under the nrhm program what is nrhm national rural health mission under national rural health mission we are screening for 30 diseases if we find out any diseases we will detect them as early as possible early detection gives us a scope of this uh, early treatment and we can prevent complications and control the disease properly the program implementation it is implemented in three categories of people so from the age group of 0 to 18 years we'll first implement this in newborn babies that is one category and from the babies of 6 weeks to 6 years and 6 years to 18 years so in newborn babies we'll conduct two things one is facility based screening and community based screening coming to the facility based screening it is done at institutional deliveries right after the delivery the people like medical officer gynecologist auxiliary nurse midwife screen the baby for any birth defects and later this health service providers are also trained in detecting any defects and register it and report to the district hospitals this is about facility based newborn screening what are we doing at the institutional delivery gynecologists medical officers ans they all screen the baby for any birth defects and if any defects are detected then this health service providers will register and report and refer this birth defects to the district hospitals coming to the community based newborn screening here comes the role of asha so asha will be given some this pictorial books which has the common gross presentations of birth defects so reading this book she can understand how this different birth defects can present so she will go to homes and she will check the babies if they are having any birth defects if they are having any birth defects she will refer it to higher uh, district hospitals and all so asha trained to detect gross birth defects by the pictorial reference book she was given will mobilize caregivers to attend local anganwadi centers for screening by mobile health teams so you'll understand more about this mobile health teams in the upcoming points but for now just remember mobile health teams will contain some doctors it will go to anganwadi centers and it will go to schools and screen the babies there so she'll help in mobilizing parents to attend this anganwadi centers for screening at the next level the priority is given to low birth weight babies and also family history of tb hiv hemoglobinopathy so they'll give this special priority to this babies into the next category which is 6 weeks to 6 years so anganwadi center based screening by mobile health teams just now we said this mobile health teams will contain a group of doctors it will go to anganwadi centers and screen the babies there
right so these newborn babies when they grow from 6 weeks to 6 years they latent anganwadi centers because asha has told them right to go to anganwadi centers they latent this anganwadi centers and at the anganwadi centers you will have this mobile health teams coming to you and screening the babies going to the next category which is of 6 years to 18 years so people from 6 years to 18 years will go to schools right so with this government aided schools based on the screening by mobile health teams again this mobile health teams will come to the government schools and screen the students there so now let us talk about this mobile health teams so one block has two mobile health teams right so two dedicated mobile health teams are given in each block and uh, this mobile health team contains a group of doctors now let us see what is the staff in the mobile health teams it is of two ayush medical officers one is male one is female and one auxiliary nurse midwife and one pharmacist these are the group of four people present in one mobile health team and for one block you have two mobile health teams right so screening is done at anganwadi center two times in year and screening is done at school one time in year so this is about rbsk bye